What's going on guys? It's Simo here at Pro Play Tour Philadelphia with the players champion, the man, the myth, the legend, the magical musketeer master himself. Chris Bruce. Chris Bruce. All right, so first of all, why did you decide to play this deck? Um, I always just liked the deck. It was like a fun, like really uh, intensive resource management deck. And then Max came out and I'm like, no, this is awesome. But now it changed the way the deck plays completely. So I'm like, oh, it has very little weaknesses. There's not a lot of like side deck cards for it. So I'm like, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna play that. How did it change the deck, how the deck structure? Um, well, for, when I first played Magical Musketeers, when they came out, it was like a go first control deck. And now since Max is out, I changed it to a go second break your board deck. So it just starts breaking boards, linking up, and like OT Kang. And so you're blinding second all weekend. Yeah, blinding second all weekend. So what, what were like a majority of your matchups? Like um, I had some uh, striker, Pendulum, Danger Thunders, a lot of Orcus. It's a lot of meta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like meta all, all day. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see what you got. Okay, so, start off, three cast bars, obviously. It's the best card. You can briefly summarize, too. A lot of people okay. might not know Muskets. I know this is like, you know, your Stratos, basically. Yeah. But, um, if, so. you, if my Spiral Traps activate in his column, I get a search for any Magical Musket card yep. in my deck. And uh, next best card is Starfire. Mm -hmm. If a card is activated in her column, I get a special summon any, in, uh, from the deck. And then the last three of is Kid Brave. He, if a card is activated in his column, it's a discard one, uh, draw two. Straight in the Yeah. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I think I might like, cut this down because I ended up citing one of him out a lot of games because the discard, if he has to gate it, it's kind of like really harsh and having a musket card to discard is kind of hard. I would bump this guy up to three, because he's really good to like, recycle. Uh, if a card's activated in his column, he um, adds any musket card from the grave to the hands. And he's yeah, probably going to bump him up to three, because he's really good. And uh, one of is Calamity. <laughs> um, she's only played because she's a level four. Yes. She, um, when a card's activated in her column, she um, revives a musket. And just some hand traps. On, uh, triple add. Double Veiler. I'm thinking about changing the Ashes to Ogre because this format Ogre is like really good. Now Ogre seems to have like the highest impact yeah. at the moment. And like removal is really good for this yeah. deck because it's kind of hard to deal with big bodies. Um, then for the spells, one triple cross dom. This card's so good. So good, just um, negates a monster and puts it to zero attack, which works really good with Starfire. Um, three mind control. Amazing. You're going second. Yeah. yeah. Double instant fusion. Uh, two pod desires. A reborn. Upstart, best card in the deck. <laughs> uh, I run a Regeki just as a spell I can always activate to bait and negate. And then um, double or nothing. Okay, so that's another reason why you play the other uh, four as well. Yeah, yeah, because um, with Starfire, if I have cross domination, I just activate cross domination, make my opponent's monster zero, then get the level four from deck. And then that's 10k into a zero attack monster. <laughs> that's so cute. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we figured that out. We're like, why is he playing the four? And then, oh, double or nothing. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, I run triple evenly. Um, triple Desperado. It just pops a face up card. Um, two last stand. It negates blood traps as a counter trap. So it's really nice. Uh, one Phoenix Steel and one Dancing Needles. This is really good against some decks. I guess Orcus, this like wins the deck, uh, wins the game. Uh, That's the uh, soul release. Yeah, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, it vanishes three cards from your opponent's graveyard. In my one of my future matches, I banished this game three and it made the game stretch out super long. Um, now for my extra deck. Uh, best card in the deck, Max. So good. Broken. I can special summon massive amounts of monsters or search massive amounts yeah, of cards. Tell people, yeah, tell people like how this works because okay. like why this card is so good. So if my opponent controls monsters, I can add magical musket spell or traps from my deck up to the number of monsters they control. Or the better effect is I can special summon monsters up to the number of back row they have. And it's just really good if I special summon monsters. I can special summon Starfire, which will give me another special summon. And then I can special summon Calamity, which will special summon one from Grave. I can just keep linking up and making stuff. And I need a down arrow, so with yeah. the Nightmares, I get the draws too. We saw that a lot in your feature matches. Yeah. Uh, one Cerberus, one Phoenix, one Unicorn. These are amazing. Uh, one Link Karibo for a thousand eyes. 
and then I do play a Boral Sword and Boral Load. I didn't make him at all, but Boral Sword came in a few times per game. That was nice, really good. I run Mud Dragon for a level 4 Instant Fusion target and for a Super Poly target. Did you ever Instant Fusion into it? Yeah, yeah, oh. just to make, um, just for the double or nothing, oh, where okay. I banish the Calamities off Desires uh, for Super Poly targets on these two. And then the Utopia double or nothing package. How many times did you pull that off today? Massive amounts of times. <laughs> it just stole so many games, it's so good. And then uh, for my side deck, one triple super poly, uh, triple mystic mine. How'd that work for you? Oh, uh, it's so good because no one, when we're siding, no one puts in back row removal for me because they, I don't set anything. So Danger Thunder, they keep the seconds light, and I just activate this and win. If you're going second deck, would you consider main decking it? Um, I was thinking about it, but it just doesn't work for like every deck. Okay. And. Even going first though, sometimes people maybe go first, and it's good to just normal summon a cast bar and activate this so they can extend their board. Sure. And I can still activate my spell and trash from hand. Okay, fair enough. Just a thought. Uh, I ran triple electric virus because Danger Thunder, the biggest problem is the Heretic Seal. If they just hit it on my normal summon, it can stop my plays. So this was a way to out the hot red and the Heretic Seals. Basically a must Yeah. Yeah. Um, double Ogre. I want to bump this to three. Um, two Panker Tops and two Twin Twisters. Anything you would have changed in retrospect? or? Um, I don't think I want to keep the Electric Virus because I sided in a lot and it didn't always work out. I kind of wanted to change this like Droll or another Hand Trap. I think that would be better. And for the most part, like I am, I do want to try to find room for Mystic Mind the main, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I can find room because the deck's kind of tight as it is. Sure. And yeah, that's my profile. I got, um, Top eight, the PPG. Yeah, really cool. First top I have had. Awesome. Uh, any shout outs or anything? Uh, shout out to my friend Adida who also got top sixteen, and to my uh, my teammates Mike Stallone, Logan Adams, Trevor, uh, Tom. They're awesome. Help me play test all the time. And my locals, uh, legendary creatures in Forge, New Jersey. Cool. Perfect. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it, Chris. No problem. Man.